Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today I got the box drill out. Well, didn't get it out today. Today I got it out to the field. Uh, it's hooked up to the 7120, to the Magnum. And we're using this drill because we are planting hay with it. Uh, for my uh, air seeder, uh, I'm not that experienced with planting hay with it. Uh, if I had a third tank, on my cart that would probably work out really good but I only have two so uh, I'm seeding uh, barley with brome you can see the brome seeds in there and that's the way we seed brome we just mix it in with the barley because it's such a it's such a fluffy grass seed that you can't really seed it in the small seed attachment which is right here and in here we have which I have to fill up yet alfalfa and timothy so a mixture. There's five percent Timothy in there, and then in here we got our Foss 1152 fertilizer. And let me tell you, I haven't used this thing since uh, 2010, and uh, I know why. <laughs> well, it takes forever to fill, especially when you're doing hay and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm ready almost an hour filling this by myself. Sean was here probably a little faster, but uh, yeah, we had to put on the uh, the drill fill. This is what we used to use for uh, filling this all the time when we used to plant with it. Uh, it's got a, I think it's 200 bushel grain tank and a four ton fertilizer tank. Uh, four ton of boss, it'll hold easy. Probably about five. I fill it right to the right to the top. Uh, it's two hydraulic augers in there, and usually what we had was the the truck would run the truck would run the the pumps, but we uh, made up some extra long hose and we just plug her into the tractor. This way, uh, the pumps are always weak on the truck, and the tractor just zoom, fills a lot faster. So. Anyway, I'm going to get to filling this uh, small seed up now, and I'll probably get this, uh, I'll probably get this drill seeded out and that's it, because I'm not running GPS, I'm not running markers, and it's so dusty here, even if it, it, it rained uh, over half an inch, and you can't even tell anymore on this stuff, it's real sandy soil. So, I'm going to finish filling. Well, I finished. Filling the drill, had a coffee, and I just came out here to check the seed. And I did see some. Oh, these are sore. Now, where was it? Yeah, there's the barley. It's not that deep. I don't really want it that deep. Anyway, there's some brome. Right there. That's in a wheel track. So we'll just take a look here. I know this is going to be a little deeper. Good moisture. Where is it? There's a bromet, it's a little bit deeper there. But it's packed. You gotta kinda go down from where you're packed right there. So Barley's there. There's another brome I just pushed away. There's a barley, I dug it up. Right there, so that's not bad. It's about half an inch. Yeah, so far the drill is working pretty good. I'm just not used to it. 2010 was the last time I planted anything with it. So it's a 
It's an international double disc drill. It has the gang packers on it. They are three inch packers, which I wish my drill had, my John Deere air seeder. 6200 case IH. Basically it's an international drill. Case just slapped their name on it when they took over. But yeah, other than that, it works pretty good. We used to seed, uh, we used to plant oh, over a thousand acres all the time with it. And uh, I know why people get rid of them. They are pain in the butt to fill up and twice as much when you're uh, planting hay. rock and roll. Uh, I can see it about 6.2 6 miles per hour with this. That's the beauty of these disc drills, you can go pretty fast with them. He's a little busty. This field I usually like to minimum till, like I just don't till it in the spring, no fall tillage. It kind of conserves the moisture on this stuff, so this, this soil tends to dry out pretty quick. Lift her up, swing around. It's uh, 24 feet, so you see the hay, uh, alfalfa seed and Roma, uh, not the Roma, but the Timothy, dropping down from the small seed. We just let it fall like that. And it seems to work pretty good. We used to use the hoses and everything, but... I don't know, we liked it better when it would just fall where it wanted to. And it seems like it takes me forever with 24 feet. My uh, John Deere air seater is twice this size. So. But anyway, sun is setting. I think we're at 10 o'clock or it must be after 10 now. It's gotta be after 10. Anyway, that's just a little video. Plant 2018. After this I'm going on to Canola. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you all later.